Okay, dearest YouTube community. So today I'm gonna present another video of another vulnerable machine or testing machine. Uh, we're gonna do today the WordPress security testing. I'm gonna teach you how to approach the WordPress security testing from an organizational or corporate way, which is the way you uh, do it. If you have clients you are testing uh, WordPress for or if you are testing for your internal company so uh, this is the machine over here it's a Grim the Ripper uh, something similar to John the Ripper <laughs> but the difference is Grim the Ripper is the vulnerable guy John the Ripper is the guy who really rips okay uh, let me minimize this so as we agreed we're gonna we're not gonna go through scanning uh, the the stuff that we repeat over time, save you time. I'm gonna head over direct, directly to the uh, WordPress directory over here. Okay, so I'm gonna give you uh, the summary, guys. This is the IP of the uh, testing machine. Okay, and this is the directory of WordPress. You need to navigate to. How you discover that? After you scan your network through an discover and end map, and you find the IP address. And you learned that the IP address has uh, the port 80 open. You navigate to the IP and then through page 64 decoding of a hint in the page source. After viewing the page source, you will find page 64 uh, code. You're going to decode that two times and you will get this number over here. Okay. And after that, you're going to do directory uh, buster. Okay, this is the repetitive stuff that you do every time you test. Now let's go through the uh, nitty gritty of this challenge. Okay guys, so you are in front of a WordPress website, regardless of the shape, regardless of the style, regardless of the page. Um, so here you have the website that you need to test for your clients, let's say. This is far from being client website, of course. But let's uh, suppose that. Okay, I have the WordPress URL or WordPress website I need to test. What I'm gonna do guys is before deciding yeah guys go crack the username and password. No. Maybe your client has a firewall on the website and this firewall is configured in a way that it uh, let's say locks you out if you try for more than three times with wrong username and password. So good rule of thumb guys to scan your WordPress target first Enumerate the current plugins, the current themes, define the security posture of your client, and then decide how to go about the testing or whether you will try with the uh, brute forcing technique. So let's do the testing with the renowned tool for WordPress testing, which is the WWE scan. I define the URL of my client 19168.94. 141 and don't forget to add the directory of the in, oh, at which the WordPress is installed. Yep, I forgot slash, I know. And this is a slash. Okay, now the next step is to use the enumerate argument. Enumerate. Hey guys, you have many options. Okay, you need to be gradual with your testing. So you need first to test for the current usernames. I know, I know. I know it's clear that it's admin. But I'm showing you how to do that in case you cannot define the username used for the WordPress administration. So type U. Yep, I don't want to update. Hmm. Maybe the site is looking to be scanned so you can try. Really? Are you sure? Okay. Yep, it's the S. Try now. Okay. So we are starting to view things clearly now as you can see guys we have here the 
uh, current vulnerabilities of this uh, WordPress uh, version. And we have the theme used, the plugins, and last but not least, we have the username used, which is admin. That's the first step, defining the username. But before defining the username, guys, okay, I have the username now. And what to do next? Next, I need to define and enumerate what are the current plugins used. Okay, as you can see, there is no plugins installed on the system. Okay, or the WordPress installation. And what does that mean? Uh, it means that, it, okay, so it might be that there might be some plugins installed on the system you are testing, but the the, the issue is not here, guys. The issue is you need to find out if there's a security software or security plug in and installed on the WordPress. The reason for that, because some security plugins are configured to lock you out if you try to brute force the system or if you try to navigate to certain directories or to exploit certain vulnerabilities. So be sure to identify the plugins and if you find a security plugin, try to identify the features of this plugin and be careful while you're testing not to break this up so guys here we have the admin i don't have security plugins so i can exploit freely without any hassles so let's go up the third step is defining what i want to exploit so as you can see here uh, <laughs> this wordpress version is a swamp of vulnerabilities as you can see here it's, I mean, fucking vulnerable to everything in life. Look how many vulnerabilities. I mean, this WordPress version, I mean, the guy who made this machine made it very easy for the people who are interested in enumerating to find too many vulnerabilities. Wow. You're not going to find, you're not going to encounter this scenario while you're testing for real life clients. I'm sure of this. Unless the client is some kind of weirdo, I don't know. You might find this kind of vulnerabilities. Okay, guys. Uh, so here are the vulnerabilities. You see, cross site scripting, and I have um, WordPress unspecified cross site scripting. So you have many things to do with this WordPress and installation. Okay. Larger large file upload error. Actually, but of course, not all of these vulnerabilities might give might give you system level access. Also, the case of SQL injection. Okay. Uh, path traversal. Yeah. And here is the current theme. Okay. Now your third step is. After you have found that there are no security plugins and there are many vulnerabilities, now you can try to brute force, okay? Which is now the easiest way to get access to the WordPress installation because after you get access or you have admin access to the dashboard, after that you can upload your own reverse shell that connects back to your attacking machine so you have compromised the system, okay? So what's the easiest way, guys? Brute force or exploit the current WordPress version. I, I can say that if, there's, if there are no plugins in the system, then go with the brute force. Okay, if you have the username and password for the dashboard, you can easily, guys, get limited shell access without trying to exploit, try this, this code doesn't work, this script doesn't work, what else? So let's try the easiest way, guys, and the most I mean, plausible way. Our next command is wb scan. Or oh, let's retype this. Okay. Instead of enumerate, I'm gonna type minus or username, which is admin. The password is my word list. I'm gonna use now word list. Equal user share word lists. Of course, rockio.txt. Okay, now it's going to take some time to correct the password, but you will find the password for this user using uh, Rocky word list. Okay, I'm not going to load this command. It's just to show you how to do that. The password is this one. Let me copy that. I know you're going to say go to WB admin and try to 
put the password, but for some reason, I get directed to my local IP address. So instead of logging in to the dashboard and going to some theme or a plugin and upload your own PHP reverse shell, you can do that with Metasploit or an exploitation tool. So let me close this. I don't need this anymore. And let me go back. And let me show you guys. If we start the MSF console and we wait till this run. Okay, while well, it's running, let me show you guys something over here. Big mistake, guys. If you have a WordPress website, well, let me, let me tell you this in the summary, <laughs> in the protection measures, okay? So you search for WordPress, okay? And you hit enter, all right? After you hit enter, you're gonna find bunch of exploits that you can use over here. So we go over exploits and we find something interesting over here that's too easy to use, which is, um, yes, WP admin shell upload. Copy that, grab this. We use use command, show options. Okay, let's set the password. The password is this one. What happened? I think I typed something instead of the password at one, two, three. If I'm not wrong. So I don't think my mouse is working. What's happening with the mouse? Okay. So let's copy that. One, two, three. No. So it's password. One, two, three. And then we set our host to be 192.168.94 IP of the testing machine. Set target URL. And don't forget to put the URL of the WordPress and installation, guys. This one. Of course, slash. Yep. Username. Yeah, it's admin. Now, go ahead, guys. Let's see what's, what's, what's going to happen. Oop, so we got the the most wanted guy on the earth, Matter Better. So let's type shell. Yes, now you have impressed your client with an unlimited shell. But you're going to impress him more with a root shell access. So guys, this is the first part of the video. I hope you find this helpful. And hopefully see you in the next video where we're going to do the privilege escalation as we do usually. Thank you so much, guys.